finally, happy coding. Try to make your coding more modular and readable. And to make your code readable, don't forget to use the naming conventions. In the demo coding, I really haven't uh, shown you the naming conventions, but it's really a good practice when you write uh, real life code or uh, enterprise code. You should follow the naming conventions. It's really very helpful and make your code much more readable. Another thing I really like to show uh, that I do in my coding in personal life that you can make your code more readable by Visual Studio documentation system. So let me switch over to Visual Studio for now. So I'm in Visual Studio. So what you can do, let's say you write a method and you want to uh, give some hint to the developer who will use your method. To do that, you could use the three times slash and you will get a summary. So let's say you have a method, let's say it has a string parameter. Let's say a string parameter. And if you do the third slash, you will you'll get a summary session. So let's say it's a method. Just for simple. And it's a parameter. So when a developer access your method, let's say that I'm accessing from here. So when I say, uh, what is it? It was eat. So when I say eat, see that you will get the description of the method. It is a method. So whatever you write, you will see the description. So it is really helpful for other developers who will use your framework or assembly uh, in their developing uh, development life. So make your code much more readable by these documentations. And uh, you can also manage your documentations by the class diagram that I have shown earlier. So in this uh, method, when you uh, try to access the parameter, you will see the detail of the parameter. It's really very helpful. And uh, if we go to our uh, class diagram design, uh, here you can also write uh, much more details if you go to the properties you will see that there are summary remarks and many things the things that I write in short uh, in the code you could write it from here as well and finally do not use uh, inheritance uh, where you don't need it because I have seen many I have seen many developers many hardcore developers who really do overuse their inheritance and the system become infle inflexible so keep in mind that where I use the inheritance that where I was copying the data and where I really need to make the code more dry and think of the inheritance as logic so if you have any logic to make the code inheritance or use the inheritance do it but if you don't have any logic don't do it and don't try to make all the solution as a strategy pattern or uh, try to solve all the problems with modular approach. These all solutions are for a specific purpose. Unless you need it, don't use it. But always try to organize your code in with classes and regions. It is much more readable and better. And if you have any questions, mail me. So thank you for uh, watching this video and session. And to mail me, uh, mail on this address, on cream at developersorganism.com. And you guys can Google me at my, my blog. I have a blog. And I'm from Developers Organism. We make products for developers. And we are very creative to have eight to five time. We work remotely, so you can join us. And you can find us at Facebook, our site is currently in under construction it will be done very soon so if you really want to join our project you have to see our the first intro video uh, where we have given the email address for joining the project and that's it thank you